This year, many students are going to need to take their Let's Go Learn assessments at home. This video is meant to help you when proctoring those assessments over Zoom. First, we recommend that you limit the number of students that you are proctoring to 10. We understand that this isn't always possible, but 10 students does help for you to monitor the students more closely. Second, we recommend that you limit the amount of time of each session to 10 to 15 minutes for kinder and first grade students, 20 minutes for second and third grade students, and about 30 minutes for fourth grade and above. Before students log on, we suggest that you set your chat bar so that students can only speak to the host. This helps prevent students from chatting with each other privately during the assessment. As the students join into the Zoom call, make sure that they are unmuted. Welcome each student and make sure that they can hear you and you can hear them. Let them know that you will be muting them all and unmuting them as necessary throughout the session. Tell students that if they need something, they can go ahead and raise their hand or send you a message through chat, depending on what's age appropriate. Once you have done this, go ahead and mute all the students. We have provided a slide deck for you that you can customize to help you when introducing the assessment to the students. First, we have our welcome slide. Next, you can let the students know what they need for a successful assessment. So here's what they need. They need their computer, a quiet place to take the test alone, headphones, and for the math assessment, they need pencil and paper. Guide them for logging in. Your district may have specific ways to log in, such as Clever or through Google, but if they don't, you can go ahead and send them to www.letsgolearn.com, have them click the login button, and then fill their username, password, and school code. Make sure to provide this information for the students in advance. Then go ahead and let them know about the assessment. Tell them that you're going to be doing some activities on the computer. These activities are meant to help their teacher, you, know how to teach them more effectively. Sometimes the activities may seem hard and other times they may seem easy. The activities are intelligent and are adjusting to each one of you. It's important to let them know that they shouldn't be getting help on the assessment from other people in their home because then they won't be giving you the data that you need to help them. And of course, make sure to let them know to do their best. Let them know that if they can't figure out a problem within a minute, just to make their best guess and move on. If the I don't know button is on their screen, they can click on it. It could be that they haven't seen that type of math problem before. Remember to have them listen carefully to each question as it is read to them and then choose the best answer. If they need to hear the question again, they can click on the yellow repeat button at the bottom of the screen. And if they have a question, they can ask. Once the students have started the assessment, keep an eye on them to help them stay focused. And when they're all done with the time allotted, tell them to take a break, have them click the stop button, and then you can pick up again where they left off. Give them some encouragement and thank them for doing a good job. 